Oh, uh, hey guys, it's that time again, huh? My bad. <laughs> I forgot today was scary Saturday. Gotta get the uh, blanket ready as usual. All right, so if you guys are new to my channel, Scary Saturday is a series where I react to scary animations and short horror films that you guys submit to me on Twitter and Instagram and even in the community tab sometimes. So uh, if you guys want to go ahead and send me some, please, I'll be I'll be reading the comments. I'll be checking my Twitter. I'll be, you know, I'll be, I'll be checking my Instagram as well. So make sure you guys send them over to me. Now, I haven't done a scary saturday in a while so you know the submissions have been pretty slow so i had to choose some for myself today yes i know embarrassing you know a youtuber has to do everything himself because not a lot yeah not no no one wants to send me anything This first scary animation is called The Worm, animated horror story by Don't Walk Home Alone After Dark. I've never reacted to anything by this channel before, so I hope it's good. I mean, it seems like the feedback is amazing. 1.4 million views in four months is crazy. So let's go ahead and check it out. All videos that I react to will be linked down below. So make sure you guys go and support them and leave a like on the video because these animations take a long time to make, but let's get started. The Worm. I hope this music's not cute, copyrighted. Okay, this girl's working on her car. She seems to be doing a good job. All right, all right. What happened to the music? The music like glitched out for a second, but this animation is next level. I'm not gonna lie. It's pretty good. Oh, 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 there's some sort of like interference. Oh the power going out but what was that, that like a raccoon or something yo mr raccoon Hello? you can come on out yo is everything good ah! whoa the timing is crazy oh shoot what the little bird all right what the heck is going on you guys know like when you can't focus you turn off the music like same same thing with like while you're driving sparrow what in the world wait what what are those lights you guys see those lights in the distance what the heck is that oh my god oh what her house just crumbled what the heck is that thing on the on the street what? Oh, she's dead. What in the world is that? Sparrow Moon was not at all what I thought she would be. I wasn't given much time to go over her case file before our first appointment. But from what I had read, I half expected some kind of uncontrollable monster to walk through the door. She wasn't anything like that. Is this like therapy or something? Smaller in person than what I had imagined from her photo. What is this place? Is it a school? Perfectly normal 17 year old girl. <laughs> that made it even harder to believe she was capable of doing this. Oh, thing. this might be prison. Wait, what? She was the last surviving member of the so called Woodfield Five, a group of kids all from the same remote northern town who suffered a series of unexplained. Oh, what? She's in like an insane Little asylum. Suggested some kind of shared psychosis, though unlike anything I'd ever heard of in my 20 year practice. Whoa. By all accounts, Sparrow had an unremarkable child. So these five people right no here had like behavioral difficulty, the same grades, sort of active social life. Oh, no family history. Five dead to speak of. Her mother had been part of some offbeat spiritual commune years earlier, but had left that behind when Sparrow was quite young and eventually remarried. There was nothing to suggest any kind of underlying trauma or abuse, though as you come to find in my line of work, that's not always so obvious. Oh man. The only path to understand Somniphobia. Spasmin. And that would prove more difficult than anyone anticipated. Hmm. I learned very little over the first weeks of our sessions together. Sparrow was often uncooperative, careful never to allow the growing familiarity between us to weaken her resolve. I was not as strong, 
I became unreasonably attached to her. This is very like thriller style animation. She barely slept. The scratches on her arms were self-inflicted. And aside from high blood pressure, she was physically healthy. No one was certain about what exactly was wrong with her. And she was getting She's worse. like very, very quiet. She's not like saying anything to him either. I'm getting like an uneasy vibe from this. Wait, how so? The courts had determined that unless I could demonstrate conclusive progress in her treatment, Sparrow would be transferred to an isolated psychiatric ward and out of my care. What? All by herself? I could have walked away at that point. I think he wanted to help her. I probably should have. Nah, man. This is what your I've job. Wanted, what I've always wanted was answers. After all that we'd been through, she wasn't a kid to me anymore. She wasn't a monster either. Hmm. She was a puzzle to solve. Sodium pentothal can be administered to Man, what happened to her? She seemed so normal at the beginning of this video, and now she's like messed up. Been awake, where the subject is highly suggestible. In most places today, the practice is frowned upon. Normally, I would never consider such a treatment, but given the circumstances, my options were limited. I knew full well that this could risk professional censure, perhaps even my career itself. That didn't seem to matter at the time. He could have lost his job over this? I mean, they're giving her like stuff that, you After know, the they wouldn't normally give to anyone. Was brought to my office. Oh, we were shoot. Left alone, and I asked her to count backwards from 10. Though before she even got to five, it was clear she knew something. Oh, she's able to get past that. Past the drugs became shallow, and her eyes darted around rapidly. They're she trying to get her to tell the truth, but coming into the room that only she could see. Oh, shoot! She could hear a voice from within it calling to her. The drug had disoriented her to such a degree that I don't even think she recognized. She probably saw the monster in him or something. Whoa, Sparrow's small size and chronic fatigue made the dosage I administered tricky. She drifted in and out for several minutes. Oh. When Lucid, I redirected her, asking if she could tell me what the voice she heard was saying. After a long pause, she finally whispered, Little Bird. Oh, from the beginning. At that point, Sparrow was not interested in answering any of my questions. Oh, well, he we got a little bit. She just spoke. You got some and clues from this. She said that it knew. It knew that was what he used to call her. Who's he? The old man. Old man? Like but her the dad? Boy wasn't a man's. It was something else. She said it comes with the mist. Yeah, it was a monster. We saw it. Takes it takes things from you and it grows, adding to what it's taken from others. It eats you from the inside. What the? She didn't know its name, but called it. The worm. It's like a tapeworm. Eats you from inside. As Sparrow lapsed into unconsciousness, I was left with more questions than answers. I arranged to have her return to her room and resign myself to the idea that I might never get the chance to understand the truth. Come on, don't give up now. You've already gotten somewhat far. I mean, as the viewer, we kind of saw what it was at the beginning. What she saw. It was over, or at least that's what I thought. It was that night the dream started. What? <laughs> he somehow ended up in... Wait, does that mean he's now affected, infected by it? Whoa. What the heck? Things are getting crazy. Yo. What is this? He's just seeing random doors in the middle of nowhere now. He's just waking up in the middle of nowhere. Oh, shoot. I think she gave him a pathway of uh, being able to see what she saw. Wait, this is where they were just at. This is the clinic. Wait. I would be so creeped out. Oh! How does he see her in his dream? Wait, Wait or is this a dream? 
He's being he's being leered. Oh, there's the mist. Oh, he got leered. Oh no, now nah. He he might honestly he might deserve this after drugging her like that. Holy crap! He just got sucked into the floor. What in the world is happening? I guess we'll never know. What's at the bottom? He's about to see what's at the bottom of the ocean. It's at the bottom, man. What in the world? <laughs> He's just in darkness. <gasps> Wait, there she is. There's Sparrow. What? Is Doctor. Doctor. Oh shoot! That's what it said every single time too. Yo! That thing is ugly. Holy crap! Is that a giant spider? Oh! Oh shoot! It uses a force on him too. Just chucked him up. Oh my god! Oh shoot! Good thing it was just a nightmare, but I think he's actually starting to see Every what she's seeing. To sleep, it's the same. It doesn't really matter how the dream begins. Oh, he's infected Eventually, now. The mist will come. And with the mist, oh, shoot. the worm, just like she said it would. He got hit by it. He got hit by it. You can't run. That never works. Dude, he just ruined his it life trying to find answers. The best you can hope for is that you wake up quick. Before it begins oh, man. to feed. He's gonna end up in a psychiatric ward First, now, too. I told myself that it would go away. <laughs> oh my gosh. A simple anxiety-induced aberration brought on by the stress of dealing with the case. He's become but the case. Obvious that was ah, right. shoot. The nightmares didn't stop. I couldn't sleep. I couldn't eat. All he it wanted to do was help her, you know, and began to take notice. for things to end up like things this to him. So bad, I had no other choice. I called in every favor, pulled every string I could, oh, and arranged shoot, access to man. Sparrow at her current facility. I needed answers more than ever, and she still had them. Oh, man. I almost didn't recognize her at first. She looked strong and alert. A stark contrast to the tired Wait, it might have transferred over to him. The worm transferred I didn't over. Have to ask any questions this time. She knew. Just by looking at me, she knew all too Oh well my gosh. We sat down, and Sparrow Moon gave me what I needed. It's transferred. Yep. Parasite. Yep. It moves to different hosts. An ancient thing passed Sheesh. from Sheesh manifesting in their dreams that's so scary in their deepest fears it will not stop always oh, hungry for more i hope it doesn't end up with him like he's it he's gonna die it doesn't want you dead. well i guess he won't die then it wants what any good virus wants to feed to propagate oh to be passed on the better hosts to be fed yep sparrow tried to hold it inside of her to protect others she ah. she could fight it long enough. So if other people know her. about it, then she passed they the get transferred to the same way that it had been passed. Oh her. man. Just by telling me. Oh, that. he got to keep it a secret. Shoot, man, he's going to go crazy now. You have to believe me. Oh, I guess he's I'm writing it. For this. Wait. Now that I've told you. No. No when. No. But sooner or later, in no! the world, the mist will come. I'm I'm gonna die now, guys. It's gonna be with me now. And with the mist. <laughs> it's all your fault, Always you stupid psychiatrist. What is wrong with this guy? He just cursed me. Yo, screw this guy. He just cursed me with the worm. Don't walk home alone after dark, dude. He just screwed me over with the curse. What's wrong with him? Our next animation is called Scary Kidnapping Horror Story Animated by the one and only Wansi Entertainment. We've reacted to so many of their animations and we already know that these are great. So let's enjoy this. Here we go. Kidnapping a few Horror Story. A ago, I received a call from an unknown number. 
At first, okay. I thought it was someone calling by mistake. I usually and just I decline it. it. Yeah. The calls like any continued. normal person. One day I answered the phone and asked, who is this? A man oh, responded, you made a mistake, Are man. You curious about who I am? No. Everyone who knows my identity will die. All right, then. No, I I'm chilling. responded, hey, and people who prank call me, I will also kill. Oh, he ignored me. Whoa, who says that? You might be the problem here, buddy. You just made yourself a target. Are you talking? Come out to the front of your yard. Oh, at midnight. Then you will know who I am. Hey, I mean, I, I don't I want to know annoyed, who you are, so dude. I just hung up. Yeah. But the calls kept coming. So I blocked oh, the number. Oh, shoot. A few days later, I, I hate it when I get call scam calls like that. Number, and I heard the same man. Not voice. again. Not he again. He cussed him out. Then he said, do not be angry. If you get angry, you, you will die. Get cancer. His what? Bro, this weeks. man's just cursing him. I got so angry that when he called one night, I immediately yelled at him. I'm going to come to you right now. All right, this I'm guy just got this guy just has anger. So you won't be able to dial the phone. Bro, whoever is the main character of this, like whoever's telling the story, you got anger issues, man. You got to chill. The human body is precious. I'm in a white van on Fifth Street. Come to me. White van? You the you serious? I'm not coming. Up. No matter how much I thought about who was making the prank call, no one came to mind. Hey, you should get some so blinds for I your windows. To go see the guy. You're making yourself an easy how target. Scary my fists could be. <laughs> I called my friends. This Carlos guy's so stupid. It was at night. He's about to get his friends for killed too. Term, we're tough guys, sturdy young men, if you know what I mean. Who had <laughs> nothing to fear. <laughs> what? He said sturdy young men, if you know what I mean. What does that mean? It was at night, and these two, for a lack of better term, were tough guys, sturdy young men, if you know what I mean. Sturdy young men, if you know what I mean. Like what? <laughs> What, a, what is that supposed when to we mean? arrived on Fifth Street, there was no one to be seen. But there, in the middle of the street, was parked a large white van. Oh, no. Remember, and no license plate, so I'm dark, guessing? We couldn't see inside. You're done. We at the van. Yeah, yeah, come on, get out of here. And that's when oh, we got no. a call. And there and then I heard it. Like, that I don't want to come out voice. of the truck. Mm, three precious items delivered to me. Ugh. I could not be more. Are happy right now my friends they went to the van pressed their faces against the windows and try to look inside no they're about to get their eyes stabbed out man down, and two muscular arms as thick as pumpkins oh. appeared and hit carlos and mason in the face causing them to fall backwards oh like dogs, they got knocked out so easily the ground, i guess they weren't so pins. young then strong and man, Loaded Carlos and Mason into the van. What? Everything happened so quickly. <laughs> your friends, your friends literally came out to help you, and you just watched them get taken away. There's no way. Like squids. Then the large man loaded Carlos and Mason into the van and drove off. Everything <laughs> happened so quickly, as if it all happened within three seconds or so. Oh yeah, in three seconds. I'm pretty sure it takes longer than three seconds to pick up your friends and put them in the truck. You or in the van. You you were probably just standing there and watching them get taken away. I quickly called the police, but the van had no numbers on the license plate. Of the course. For the Why van, would they? But it was nowhere to be found. I was in a huge panic, and I was shaking uncontrollably. <laughs> Your friends are long. never going to help the you again. Day, I got another call from an unknown number. It was him. Oh, man. I was surprised. The items were in He looks like John Wick. Than I expected. Carlos has a crystal clean liver, and Mason has very hearty, healthy kidneys. What? Thanks to these, I earned $100,000. Well, his friends are now, dead. They're gone. Let's have a party. Come to me. You know the place where... This guy is so today. creepy, man. Come at 10 o'clock tonight. Bro, you just your got your friends. Fr they are still here. What? Indisposed. Kind of having trouble breathing. <laughs> Bro, that is so I messed up. Crying. I swore at him. <laughs> but then... He hung up. I called the police and told them about the call. Oh, the now, now you call then the police. That, that's probably the I first thing you should have done. Street. However, the van that was there quickly sped off as soon as the police. Pulled, they took and what? Off they don't even chase the them? Van. 
couple hours later, I got the call. It was him. Oh, I really want those prime organs of the policemen who are following me right now. <laughs> I'm sure I can sell them all. <laughs> <laughs> A few days later, the police station contacted me. They told me that the police officers who had chased the van that day had gone missing. What? That's actually crazy. A few days later, I received a text this message man invincible. from an unknown number with a photo attached. In the photo, there were men lying on an operating Those table. Those are probably the police officers. Were men wearing surgical gowns and masks, holding Dang, tens of thousands of, of dollars in an open briefcase. The message read, sold to police officers. I was so scared out of my mind. I begged my parents to move away. You done right goof, away. man. My parents, they also felt the seriousness of the this situation. This kid is so dumb. And so within weeks, we moved away. And at the same time, I changed my phone number. <laughs> I was so relieved that I was now free from the I bet you that guy's that still going to know where you're at. One day, I saw <gasps> a white van parked in front Dude, of the house. You really, to. You really messed up, man. For some time, and then it drove off. <laughs> The next day, I went to view the spot where the van was standing, and there, on the ground, was a photograph. Oh my God! A closer look. There, in the photo, were two, two lives. People, but Save two on lives. The of the pick was Carlos and Mason. Save two lives. The shock shook me to my core. A few weeks later, on the evening news, a report came: the organ harvesters yeah, his <laughs> had been caught. His, However, the two friends, of Carlos and Mason, were never found. What? Still to this day, I continue to Bro, his some friends, man. Trauma. He got his. Luckily, the prank calls had stopped. But still, the inner panic was always. You got your friends killed, man. Day. Six months have passed since the incident. But what is still scary is that a van without license plates still. I see a license plate. I see a license plate right there. Why are you lying to me? From time to time. Every time Dang. that van appears, a rotten smell emanates within the air. Police continue to search for the vans, but with no luck and no clue of identities. I no longer leave the house without extreme fear of what could happen to me. To you? To you? Look at what you did to your friends! <laughs> this man got his friends killed, man. So the last scary animation we're watching is called Crazy Girl Horror Story Animated, also by Wansi Entertainment. Go ahead and check it out. I hope you guys are enjoying this video. If you guys haven't already, make sure you guys leave a like on this video. And if you're brand new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. But here we go. School, there was a girl named Natalie. Okay. Had a crush on. All right. In fact, almost the usual high school story. We're fascinated by. Oh dang, she got all the guys. To her throughout my high school years. I see you. Then when I became an adult. I started working at a restaurant. One day, she came there to have hey. a meal. To my surprise, she pretended to know me first, and I had a pretended. conversation with her for the first time. The moment she called my name, I felt like I was in heaven. But she He's was like, with what? another man. He was my high school oh. classmate, Marcus. He seemed very close to Natalie, and I was so jealous of him. Hey, he's probably. I had a short chat with her, and. Because of her beauty, I stuttered like it's probably her boyfriend already. When I got home from work. I screamed at myself in the mirror because I was screaming? so disappointed that I couldn't have her. I what, bro? There's the plenty of fish in the sea, man. Happened. You gotta chill. We gradually became close. Then one day, she came to the restaurant by herself. Oh, she alone? I asked her where Marcus was, and she flatly said that he had left. Oh. Then she said something unexpected to me. Do you want to come over to my house? What? I, that I was so shocked that I almost He's spilled like, my Yo. food on her. Oh. But I couldn't hesitate. Made an appointment with her right away. Dang. I he was like, this is my chance. my face in my pillow and rejoiced. A few days later, I went to her house. I knocked. And when Isn't she this a little door, too soon, though? I, I still wouldn't trust going to, to someone's house like that. The house was covered in plastic. Ugh. When I went inside. All right, that's just sketchy, man. What? What? Painting hanging on the wall. I remember that she was good at drawing when she was in high school. She said her dream was to open an exhibition. However, when I looked closer, he looked like he was in I pain. Something strange about the painting. It was a painting of Marcus rolling around on the floor in pain. <laughs> it was so real that you could hear Marcus's moans in the painting. Probably it felt is like real. Watching a real scene. 
Bro, you better watch out. You better be careful, man. Body. I drew it really well, right? Can you vividly feel Marcus's pain? What? This painting will surpass the Mona Lisa. Her voice huh? got very loud. Right. And her right. she's just weird. Sparkled. It was a sight I'd never seen before. She's a psychopath. I followed her to the living room where several paintings were hanging on the wall. There were of other dude? No, and what all the paintings had in She's a killer. Was that the men were in extreme Yo, pain. she's crazy. The man was and crawling with an axe stuck What in his back. the heck? The man had bandages all over his bloody body. One man had his limbs tied and spiders crawling uh. all over his body. Humans are most beautiful when they are in pain. <laughs> so I always think about how I can make people suffer the most. Oh, she's a Which sadist. Man looks the most in pain. She said with a smile. Yeah, you gotta run, bro. For a moment, I started to. That's think a whole red a flag right there. You gotta. I felt cold sweat running down my. Run spine. out the door right now. So Pray that she didn't. A lot of pain in that painting. How did you draw it so realistically? Oh shoot! I asked her. It's not drawing. I hit Marcus with a hammer. After about three hits, that beautiful expression came out. What? He lived a really successful life. What in the world? Because he left such a masterpiece. You hit him with a hammer. I was startled. She crazy. She real she crazy. And when I looked closely, Marcus looked as if he was crying out for help. He's probably dying. She hit him with a hammer. In my entire body. Have you ever heard this? Art is pain. No, no one ever said that before. She's just making up stuff now. Something out of her. Oh, you gotta run. It was a frozen. What? She ran at me. That thing got spikes on it. Me. Holy! I instinctively avoided it and ran like crazy Yikes, to the dude. front door. And she followed and shouted. Now it's time to paint. I barely managed to. Heck no! Nah. Get out, bro! Out. And the minute oh. she swung, hit her door, and I heard a loud. Bang. Yikes! Dude, Come run! On. What the? I'll draw you really well. She screamed she and weird. I ran away and called the police. <laughs> police soon began investigating her. How did the, no one else escape her? That she had killed four men. What? Marcus before dumping them in a Wait, Marcus died too? Miles away. Oh and the my corpses gosh. all matched the men in the paintings. So you got to be she careful with pretty women, man. Prison. I couldn't get out of bed for several days because of the shock of that <laughs> day. So what would have happened if I had been a little late when running away. Lost You're done. Pudding, or failed to open the front door. It would have ended up like Marcus. Of me <laughs> on the wall of her house. Yo, that is it. That is actually crazy. Hey, man, sometimes you just gotta be careful. You just gotta be careful. All right, well, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed yet another episode of Scary Saturdays. If you guys wanna see another one in the future, all you guys have to do is leave a like, subscribe, and uh, yeah, we're on the road to 2 million subscribers, so help me out, and I'll see you guys next time, all right? Peace.